Lift and fold the privacy panels, tucking them back into the lid and locking them in place. Using the barrel key, unlock and open the side access door. Press the off button, waiting for the screen to go dark. Remove the USB stick and place in the designated slot inside the red boater book. Close and lock the side access door. Unlock and open the front access door. Press the green button inside the access door while simultaneously pressing in lightly on the kiosk chute until the chute releases. Do not remove the blue security Loctite seal from the kiosk chute, but do record the seal number on certificate number two. Retrieve a new blue security Loctite from the seals pouch in order to seal the chute flap and record the seal number on certificate number two. Ensure the sealed kiosk chute is given to the BLM for return to the BOE on election night. Close the scanner door. Close the lid, ensuring that the side tabs fit into the slots. Then close and lock the front access door. Unplug the kiosk from the power outlet, unplug the power cord from the back side of the kiosk, and secure the cord using the Velcro strap. Working in a pair, one PEO at each side of the kiosk, hold the ballot marker unit at the bottom and lift away from the stand slightly while simultaneously pressing both green tabs inward. Return unit to the lowering position notch. Standing in front of the unit, squeeze the yellow lever and gently press down on the kiosk, holding the unit as you lower it to the floor. Repeat steps with all kiosks. Return the barrel key and flat key to the red results tape pouch in the red voter book. Certificate number two is in the location workbook. We are completing the kiosk section of certificate number two. Verify the blue security lock tie number on the kiosk chute. Remember that we did not remove the security lock tie during the opening process of the kiosk. Record the blue security lock tie number that was added to the kiosk chute flap. Repeat steps with all kiosks.